we'll, I'm sure, you know, we'll talk lots about this, but the difference between doing, say, a revival or established work to new work, that is the biggest difference, is we have no reference point on new right. work. We have no idea. It's never been done before. We don't know what works or doesn't work until we get the audience. And the audience will tell you. When you sit in an audience, I mean, as a director, and you think something's going to be fabulous and it works, and, and it clearly doesn't. And you know, you think, wow, what's going on? With this? And especially for comedies, landing, you know, jokes, right. landing comedy. I think, Why isn't that landing? And of course, you have to just scour that stage and go, and sometimes I watch audiences and go, what are they looking at? Oh, crap, they're looking at that. Something's going on that I, it's too busy. And I have, I've taken the focus away. And I go, that's got to refocus. Put, you know, you have to tell the audience where to look. Because and if when I you too much, then you know. When you refocus in previews, are you refocusing the choreography, yes, but the blocking, lights, blocking, the blocking, lights, uh, lights critical, um, blocking uh, in the musical, it, choreographically in a production number. That's a whole other science of how do you structure a production number. Um, but honestly, if things aren't landing, you go back to your blocking. You go back to the lighting. You go. It, it often isn't what the, sometimes it's what the actor's doing, but it's often not. It's often I've given too much to look at and, and an audience will not hear, you know, they won't, it's, it's very hard to do both. And that's you and your team sitting there in previews watching people. Is that how that yep. works? Yeah, I go, I, you know, listen, on a two-act show, as a director, I believe strongly in going to the washroom in the interval because that's where everybody tells the truth. And they don't know who you are. And you sit there and you just think, they're telling the truth. Oh, no. But what they're saying, right. audiences, certainly from women in, in identifying women who you know identifies women in in a bathroom you go okay clearly you have an opinion about what you've just seen i don't get this or i don't get that you have to pay attention to that because they have no agenda they paid you know and when you listen to audience members either sitting there in the seats watching yeah. maybe the thing or in the washroom uh, yeah. do you if <laughs> uh, evaluates the wrong word do you actually go oh that person's that, they must be a, a rabbit theater goer maybe I should listen to them more and oh this person's the first day you know no what? I it, listen to everybody because it, they just have an opinion they saw what they saw they heard what they saw they heard what they heard and then they have an opinion about it right. so you know in a way it's the most truthful right your friends sometimes it's like well they don't always tell you, right. you know, and, and, and obviously we always have those people that we want to come to see things to say, well, just tell me what you think. Actors, it's different. Actors, you know, what you want. An actor really takes care of what they're doing. They don't always look at the big picture. So an audience member is just looking at the big picture. And so they are very instructive. It's very instructive. You, you really, I know that I have, I have colleagues who don't want to sit in an audience and I, I, I just... I just learned so much. Also, in a musical, how can you hear the show? You have to sit in an audience and hear the balance. And is that too loud? Or what are they hearing? So that we hear something different on stage. So where does the... Um, okay, I've heard it from some directors, not that I agree with them, that you cannot let the audience direct the show. Right. That the artist must direct the show. Yeah. So you're talking about... a balance or balance it's a balance i agree with that too i agree with that right. I, i'm not going to make choices on stage based on what i think an audience will like or not like that i don't i mean i you know we we do the show we intend to do we i spend a year on a show at least and, and our whole team we, we are on the same path and then the actors come in the room we continue that collaboration with the actors and then we have a show that we believe in if, an audience, their response to it, that, that doesn't necessarily change the content or the, the integrity of the show. I'm really talking about, you know, an audience, if, if they're not, especially the Festival Theatre at Stratford, that is a particular space for comedy. Those jokes have to kind of go in a wave. And there's a particular way that and it, the, the audience is communal. They see each other. So... You know, if things aren't landing or things aren't working or you, you know, 
we possibly have done something that has allowed an audience to, to not focus on what you want them to focus on. That's different to me than, say, changing content right. because it might provoke or, you know, I think that's, right. that's what we want. We want to provoke. We want, we want conversation. We want to disrupt. We want that for theater.